The Okanagan Special Collections definitely was something that was designed to focus on the region, to help students in their research, to help community members in their research. If anybody's interested in some family history, we do have some pieces around that, some local authors as well. It's really important for libraries to dedicate space to these kinds of materials because we are the place expected to preserve the history of our communities. We are expected to make sure that the materials that our community members leave for us or donate to us are available to the public and it's important for the students and for community members to have access to those materials. It's definitely important to recognize the history of the Okanagan simply because we're a university that is a second campus from UBC Vancouver and we want to recognize the history for the area around this campus. It was a fantastic opportunity for us to explore the holdings we already had and the hidden gems we didn't know we owned when we started this project to investigate special collections. And from there it became a real community opportunity to visit with our colleagues at Okanagan College, for example, to visit with our colleagues and speak with our colleagues at Thompson Rivers at the University of Northern British Columbia, at Selkirk College, and of course our most dear colleagues in Vancouver who already had a lot of expertise in terms of how to manage special collections. So I think it turned the special collections project into being not just about the materials but about the relationships. So definitely my favorite book in the collection, it's very colorful, it's a great one, it's the Sunripe book. So it's the history of the Sunripe organization that was founded in Kelowna and definitely highlights the fruit packing industry overall and it was also written by one of our donors, Sharon Simpson, so it was a very good addition to our special collections. It would be so hard to decide on a favorite item that's in the collection because it has so many fantastic parts. We have a beautiful collection of Greenboat House Press materials, which are local. We have a fantastic collection of materials that were owned by Sveva Ketani. I guess I would suggest that the most valuable part of the collection is the fact that it exists and encourage everyone to come and visit us.